By World Health Organization and supported by the European Union and Luxembourg, the Universal Health Coverage Partnership aims to support governments to develop the governance mechanisms and reforms that are essential for stronger health systems. The cooperation between the World Health Organization and the European Union is a very old one. It's a close one. In the case of Moldova, we've stepped up since 2011 with a quest for equitable and fair access to health care for all Moldovan citizens. The Republic of Moldova joined this global partnership in 2011, aiming to facilitate policy dialogue on national health policies, strategies and plans and on universal health coverage. Well, universal health coverage is fundamentally about equity. This is about ensuring that everybody on earth has access to the quality medical services that they need. And this is without uh, being ruined before excessive impoverishment, before uh, catastrophe, because they have to pay for that. So this is the principle. It is for everybody. It is what you need. It is of good quality and it is without a financial hardship. This is a key priority for the European Union because it is an issue which really improves people's lives, gives them opportunities and also serves the economy through a healthier population. Each country prepared its own roadmap. The Republic of Moldova is aiming to improve the structure for policy dialogue. Therefore, its roadmap used ongoing partnerships and focused on providing appropriate environments for sector coordination, building new evidence, conducting a continuous policy dialogue and providing technical assistance on selected topics at local, central, parliamentary and even international levels. Also, to support debates, build bridges and reach agreements on multiple policies and ongoing reform activities in the healthcare sector. The Sustainable Development Goals will set the tone for the next 15 years of what the government will be working on in terms of having a better world, a more sustainable world. UHC is only one of the targets under the, the new health goal. All the others are vertical goals. It's about health for, uh, for children, it's about health for mothers, it's about getting rid of the big pandemics, uh, the HIV, TB, malaria. And it's all fragmented if we wait. We are working with the population, we are working with the parliamentarians, with the politicians, with the unions, with the, the group of groups of power in various countries. And we are doing so in a, in a way that improves the mutual understanding, the building of trust between partners and the intelligence of uh, how to implement the reforms and how those reforms are evolving at the country level. The Republic of Moldova has achieved substantial milestones in health reforms. The establishment of family medicine in 1997, the introduction of mandatory health insurance in 2004, the establishment of universal access to primary health care services in 2009, the initiation of a restructuring of the public hospital network in 2012 and of public health centers in 2014. In addition, sector coordination and dialogue has been introduced since the last decade and an increased focus on non-communicable diseases has been in place since 2011. Universal health coverage is seen by many as just an aspiration. And so the starting point for us is to try and convert that into something concrete and operational in the context of any specific country. So it would mean what can this country do in order to make progress on specific objectives like improving equity in the use of services, improving financial protection and improving quality. What to do, 
And, and the advice we provide will vary depending on the context of the country. So in a situation uh, like Moldova faced at the end of the 1990s, um, they, they had inherited the very heavy infrastructure of the former Soviet system, but the economy had greatly contracted. And so by the end of the decade, more than a quarter of all public spending on health was just going to serve the buildings, was going into utility costs. And this meant there was very little left over for medicines, supplies, food, and increasingly, if people needed anything, they had to pay for it out of their own pocket. So in that context of uh, that Moldova found itself in, it was essential to deal with some of these fundamental structural problems and to make the system more efficient. The way that the government decided it wanted to move was to create something called a national health insurance company and a national health insurance reform. And we began very early in that process, as far back as 2002, on some of the initial design phase of this, helping the government with the conceptualization of the policy, then later the development of legal documents. In 2003, there was an initial implementation and we supported that. 2004 nationwide implementation. And again, very strong engagement with the government, with the new agency called the National Health Insurance Company. They have achieved a lot. They've set up the new agency. They've changed the incentives uh, facing the providers in order to reduce some of these fixed costs of the system. But there were still shortcomings, shortcomings in terms of expanding uh, people who were enrolled in the program, making further improvements in efficiency, and trying to bring down uh, the level of out-of-pocket spending. Since the implementation of the mandatory health insurance system, the expenditure on health has been increasing steadily and in 2014 consisting about 10% of country's GDP. However, the expenditures for health per capita are still lagging behind the EU average at $553 in 2013, estimated in purchasing power parity terms. Important to notice is that financial protection still needs to be improved. Thus, the private health expenditure out of total health expenditure fluctuates around 45% and the out-of-pocket health expenditures out of total health expenditures consists a share of 44%. Expenditures for medicines being the main contributing factor for out-of-pocket payments, having 70% out of total private expenditures. Two aspects are problematic. One is the access to medical services, in special medicines. The improvement of access to these services, the cover of financial more large list of medicines compensated, the diminution of prices of medicines are representing a pass for the cover of universal population with medicines in the Republic of Moldova. Another aspect is the cover of the police of insurance obligatory. Now, most recently, is to undertake work to say, how can we make this health financing system do a better job at helping the country manage some of its disease priorities, such as non-communicable diseases? So it has been a very long process, actually, 13, 14 years of close engagement. Uh, it wins trust and confidence on the uh, side of the government. Uh, the partners, the work I think has been of very high quality and it, it's really a, an excellent example of how we can work with countries to support their progress towards universal coverage. Din toate reformele care au fost implementate în ultimul deceniu în Republica Moldova, cred că reforma de finanțare a sistemului de sănătate a fost cea mai importantă și de succes. Fără implementarea asigurărilor medicale obligatorii, Acum 10 ani, sistemul de sănătate nu ar mai fi activat în condițiile actuale. Considering the health profile and previous system reforms, the government of the Republic of Moldova has prioritized the following areas for policy interventions and actions. Health financing and improvement of health insurance arrangements addressing the high level of out-of-pocket payments, increasing the autonomy of providers, pay for performance in primary health care, regionalization of public health services. The WHO and the EU initiatives since 2011 has opened many new avenues 
to strengthen the policy dialogue processes in the Republic of Moldova. For example, together we have launched the Health Forum with the local dialogues. Also, in the Ministry of Health, there are more internal dialogues when the health policies are prepared. Also, the interministerial discussions are taking place for better health diplomacy. And finally, we have had more policy dialogues and engagement with the Parliament in Moldova. National events, such as the annual Health Forum, provide good platforms for advancing the reform agenda in a transparent and participatory manner. Forumul Național de Sănătate a devenit o platformă foarte largă de intervenții pentru diversi actori din sistem, atât național cât și internațional, cu participarea largă a partenerilor externi, cu participarea actorilor din Guvernul Republicii Moldova, din Parlamentul Republicii Moldova, cu participarea actorilor din nivel local. Este foarte important să avem și păreri de la nivelul local, ca până la urmă aceste păreri să fie formulate în politici și strategii la nivel național. Multi-stakeholder involvement and exchange in decision-making has been increased by expanding policy dialogues to subnational level. Since 2014, the addition of dialogue elements has strengthened the public sector's capacity to address international and cross-sectorial aspects. Such activities lead to improved knowledge and engagement of all relevant actors in the implementation of strategies and plans. They also provide good opportunities for the Ministry of Health to demonstrate its leadership role in the coordination of health reforms and plans in the Republic of Moldova. Hence, the transparent and participatory implementation of the National Health Policy Strategies and Plans Initiative and Health Sector Coordination has involved not only high-level political decision-makers, but also local decision-makers and service providers. In the year 2014, with the support of the Organization of Health Health, we have realized in six regions of the country dialoguri de politici la nivel local, prin care s-a decis de a discuta mai multe probleme foarte stringente pentru sistemul de sănătate, cum ar fi reformarea sectorului spitalicesc, combaterea bolilor netransmisibile, protecția financiară a populației și alte aspecte deosebit de importante pentru sistemul de sănătate. Partenerii noștri din localitățile raionale și rurale au spus că aceste dialoguri de politici trebuie să fie continuate și pentru viitor. Ei ar vrea, în primul rând, să participe la procesul de luare a deciziilor. Înainte de a fi luate decizii la nivel central, aceste documente trebuie să fie examinate și discutate la nivel local. The National Health Policy Strategies and Plans Initiative in the Republic of Moldova started with topic-specific policy studies and gradually evolved through policy dialogues and sector coordination in various areas. The initiative scaled up the studies to include new areas of health system and also expanded policy dialogues from central to local level. Together, we have moved forward in the journey towards the universal health coverage, as well strengthen the evidence base to support the decision making. We have covered many topics, including the areas like equitable access to health care and services, financial protection and quality of care and safety during the last four years. On financial protection, we have analyzed the complexity of out-of-pocket payments and provided options to improve the situation for the population. And in particular, followed up in medicines area on better regulation to have access to medicines and promote rational use of medicines. On access to care, we have concentrated on two particular areas. One is health system strengthening for better non-communicable diseases outcomes, and second, health services for adolescents and children. On quality of care, we have looked to the first mapping 
of quality of care in Moldova, covering various areas, including patient rights, quality cycles among providers, as well as clinical practice that is currently taking place in Moldova. The policy dialogue component was strengthened through a series of events in the period 2012-2015. This addressed the issues of health financing, quality of care, medicines, child and adolescent health, primary care, NCDs, tobacco use and tuberculosis. To develop local health policy and thus to improve the health of people in the regions, the health profiles are useful tools for local authorities to build their decision-making. Ideea referitor la elaborarea profilului de sănătate de către centrele de sănătate publică din teritoriu a fost primită cu entuziasm. Profilul de sănătate este un document care necesită o echipă multidisciplinară. Centrele de sănătate publică care au coordonat la nivel local procesul de elaborare a profilului de sănătate au implicat specialiști din domeniul educației, protecției sociale, mediul încojător, situațiile excepționale, poliție, etc. Development of health profiles to support local level policy making was initiated in the Republic of Moldova in 2013. This ongoing process began with capacity building before health profiles were piloted in four regions – Chisinau, Yedinets, Orhei and Kahul. La nivel de Ministerul Sănătății, noi îl vedem ca un instrument foarte util în elaborarea politicilor la nivel local, informate de evidențe. Experiența raioanelor pilot, care au elaborat ulterior, au organizat ședințe, discuții, în baza cărora au fost generate intervenții și politici concrete la nivel local și a demonstrat eficacitate. Ministerul Sănătății, cu suportul Organizației Mondiale a Sănătății și cu alți donatori, este gata să ofere și în continuare, dar Nouă ne-ar plăcea foarte mult ca această activitate să fie preluată și autoritățile locale să aibă suficiente capacități ca profilul de sănătate să fie elaborat cu capacitățile și competențele locale. The National Health Policy Strategies and Plans Initiative used a systematic approach towards supporting decision makers in policy development. Therefore, technical assistance, capacity building and knowledge exchange component became a mandatory element in various activities. The technical assistance component provided the stakeholders with international expertise and advice to support local decision-making in planning and designing interventions based on international best practice in the following technical areas. Communication strategy, access to medicines, tobacco control, paying for performance, and broader interventions to strengthen quality of care. The capacity building and knowledge exchange component provided the stakeholders with WHO-facilitated environment, such as brown bag lunches, health diplomacy courses, and pharmacoeconomics training. It ensured transfer of knowledge from a regional level learning from international evidence of good practices and also equipped the stakeholders with up-to-date knowledge to be applied in development and coordination of national health policy strategies and plans. In the context of ensuring um, universal access and fair access to healthcare, so there is a big need for more and more reforms. You need transparency in the health sector, you need uh, uh, modernization, you need investment to ensure that all citizens have equal access to health care, to high quality health care. Personally, I feel it is very important to continue now the open dialogue and all these processes put in place, including health forum, topic-based dialogues, discussions, because only together we can find a consensus how to improve health and how to move forward in the journey towards universal health coverage. There are many good practices in Moldova, but now we need to turn them to reality to improve the population health for citizens and for everybody.